acting in ways that are socially approved, even if that is not our own personality. Exactly. Uh, again, covering would be a situation in which you had some sense of your authentic self, whether that be a racial self, yeah. whether that be a uh, self based on gender identity or sexual orientation yeah. or religion, and that society would nonetheless force you to downplay yeah. or to yeah. hide that. In Let's give sphere. people some examples so that they'll understand exactly what it is you're talking about. Uh, a black woman who wears her hair in cornrows and is told by her employer not to wear that kind of a hairstyle and who then comes in the approved page boy Caucasian white woman hairstyle. That would be covering, right? Exactly. And the instance that you're referring to is an actual case that yeah. was litigated and in which the African American plaintiff lost. Yeah. I'm also thinking about things like Latinos or Latinas who speak Spanish in English only workplaces right. who are fired on that basis. And Talk 1380 WOK. This is hashtag dry your buzz on WAOK. That's our debate for today. Now, mind you, there's not a sister in that conversation, but who was the first example they brought up? Because they know that black women, your heritage is your, your hair is your history. And so they know that every day when you walk in that office and you got your hair, your weave down to your behind, they know that you are covering. They know and when I say they, I, I, I mean like mainstream. Everybody knows that there's something that we have to do in order to fit in. If I was sitting here on this radio station talking like I be, I'm at home chilling with my girls, you you wouldn't listen. You know, I never would have I never would have made it past the door. You know, if I mean if I and and he talked about that. He said uh, society force. We're talking about disfavored identities, meaning there are things that you're no you you and your culture or you and your race or you and your gender. And this ain't just a black and white thing because you know, hey, we live in America and there's more people here than black and white people. But there's something about you yourself that you disfavor not necessarily mainstream but there's something about you that you disfavor that you feel will keep you out of mainstream going to work every day is in fact you fitting into mainstream if you don't own your own company you are covering because you in your mind you know that there is a belief system that you have to follow in order to survive and what happens with that we get to the point where women don't demand to see women on television. Uh, we don't demand to see women's stories. If you go to Google now and click the news link, there are no stories for uh, for women. There's no there's no story. It, it's, it just boggles my mind. I want to go back to the phones. Like I said, this is a great debate. I'm not going to be the only one talking during this debate. And the phone number is area code 404-892-2703. Three, and then the phone lines are lit up. Let me see who we got here. I'm gonna go. I think we're going to Adam on two. Let's get Adam. Adam, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Are you covering Adam? Man, every day, every, <laughs> day, every day since I didn't play professional baseball like I wanted to, I had to cover. Okay, so what happened? Tell me what. Tell me what happened. Well, I'm just saying, you know, if you, you, you miss out on your dream, then you got to go into corporate America, mm -hmm. and that's that. And I'm, I'm in, the, in the middle of it, in the heat of it, and I understand what the covering's all about. And what I try to get, like some of the people that I know, you know, I understand you got to do what you got to do, but we still got to make it our way to, to, to network with proper organizations that's going to help us out. We can't just cover and you And you can't do that being just your full own self. You can't do that being yourself. You not. You, you, you got to bring that away from that, that uh, corporate atmosphere. Okay, well, tell me this. What what behaviors did, did you had to disfavor? What were your own behaviors that you had to cover up? I mean, you know what? I wanted to be either a ball player or mm -hmm. Black Panther. So you had to cover I, up. I, I was, so I you had to cover up the Black Panther I, in order to get into corporate America. To, to, to maintain, you know, I, like I had my own business for a minute, whatever the case is, but things happen. But my backfall will always be able to blend in and get a job. But I can still manage to maintain myself, but I have to split it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're not, and this is what it is. We complain about the people when we drive up to the drive through windows, whatever the case is. And for every one of them that you can name, I can name 60 Caucasians 
they had, they had the same issue, but it's in a different manner because I'm, I'm blended both ways. Mm-hmm. So we criticize the people that don't even hear us. Mm-hmm. Like your sermon today, I call it a sermon, this should be done on Sundays mm-hmm. in front of the masses of the people just to start getting their head right because this is a real Jesus thing. If that's what you went to, if you understand the concepts, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. This well, type of thing should be in front of the churches. Let me ask you this, though. Nate, we've already you, we've already said, okay, you're, you're covering. You didn't get to do the dream, so you had to go to corporate America, so you had to kind of put the Black Panther side of you <laughs> away. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What does that do to you to know that there's a part that you can't show in corporate America? So when you clock out, do you let it out, or where do you put it? Where do you keep it? I'm, I manifest it. In, in both in both scenarios, okay. Mm-hmm. Like I can be at work and be, you know, I can't be like rah 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 Black Panther, but you know certain <laughs> people you can you can it with you understand they understand where you're coming from. Some people at work think I'm a Muslim. Some people at work think I'm a police officer because it's the way sometimes I look or whatever. So the way you way you carry yourself because they know you're covering because they know they can look at you and tell he goes you know they saying? know you're gonna set it off at any moment. But, but since we know, we have to know that what we're doing, but at, at a certain time, we got to go back to our community and say, okay, now we don't have to cover right here. Let's get it out. Let's, let's spend this money together. Let's unite. Everybody ain't going to do it. We're going to have people that are critics or whatever the case is. Because mm-hmm. Obama was our first in- incentive to say, we got this right now. We blew it because we didn't go out in the midterms and all that. We shut it down mm-hmm. because we're so busy covering. We're so busy and covering. We cover, and oh. we cover, we missed the cover. We missed it. All right. Thank you so much. That was that was Joseph, y'all. He didn't get to do the dream. He had to go to corporate America. News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Call us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Exactly. So individuals who refuse to cover are yeah. believed back into the norm and to the extent that they say, I shouldn't have to do this because the demand that I assimilate is not legitimate. Yeah. They right. tend to lose the right. court. What are some of the other examples? Because you have so many in the book. Because this, this brings it home to people on a very concrete level. What are some of the examples of that for examine women in the workplace do to cover? The dominant one that I can think of, Larry, is that women in the workplace are often asked to conform to the norm of the ideal male worker. And the primary form this takes is for women to actually downplay the fact that they have children or not have children at all. All right, this is Yolanda Latimore, editor of Dry Your Buzz. And you're listening to hashtag Dry Your Buzz on WAOK. And that was another clip from uh, an interview that Kenji Yoshino did on his book called Covering the Hidden Assault hidden assault on our civil rights it was actually published in 2006 i think i probably came across him on a c-span interview and that might even be the interview and uh, i bought the book because there's always the conversation that we have when we talk about our civil rights and we talk about fighting this war and this you know the racism and prejudice and all this stuff that's going on but a lot of times in the true fight we oftentimes have to fight with those who look like us, women against women, uh, gays against gays, minorities against minorities, uh, is a very strong part of this. And it plays out in your social media. When I look down your stream and you're a black woman, but you've shared nothing uh, about black women you you know you share and you shopping all over the world but you don't shop with women or uh, men and gays i mean it's the same it's the same thing and there are things that we do um one of the very first examples is that they know that black women have natural hair and when they see you come into the workplace and you you've conformed to a certain look because you think that's what it takes to be in mainstream they talked about latinos the fact that they are the generation new generations of latinos don't want to speak spanish uh, because that in essence keeps them out of the mainstream and so we were talking we had a couple of callers that can kind of clearly identify their disfavor it says everyone covers to cover is to tone down a disfavored identity nobody has asked you to disfavor your identity but something about you yourself in order for you to fit in the mainstream there's something about you yourself that you feel that you have to cover up in order to survive some of the things and I, I won't take the full responsibility off of society because uh, as 
the author says, and the author is a professor, a Chief Justice Earl Warren professor of constitutional law at NYU School of Law, uh, said that some of these things are society for us. Corporations do tell you sometimes that you have to dress a certain way, uh, live in a certain place. I mean, there are a lot of things that, that we do trying to fit into the mainstream. Fit into the mainstream is the is the basis of this. What are you doing to ask, absolutely fit into the mainstream? For me, uh, I try to blog and make make money otherwise so that I don't have to fit into the mainstream. A lot of people tell me on my social media, man, I wish I could I wish I could say what you say. I wish I could like your post. It, they, they will come up to me and tell me they like what I said about this and that, but because they have to fit into the mainstream, they can't use certain hashtags that I use they can't get out there and certain say certain things that I say and and I'll tell you I mean it, it took 10 years for society to get to this point where it would probably accept me as me uh, it was a lot of hard work but I chose not to cover up certain aspects of who I am because it dr- does drive you crazy and fitting into the mainstream <laughs> inside corporate America does drive me crazy I was always that person that kind of gave gave uh, those who needed to fit in a hard time all right I want to go back to the phone because this is a debate it is not a one-sided debate and the phone number is area code 404-892-2703 and the phone lines are lit up with you telling us how you are covering i'm gonna go to joseph joseph are you covering yeah well i i i can't understand that that idea you talking about co- cover it up because i came in the conversation like maybe 10 minutes with it but from Talking with Fred about ebonics or whatever. Let me just give you a quick experience. Okay. When Caribbean when Caribbean kids was coming up in America, mainly in the seventies, we didn't get hassle from white kids or other kids about how we spoke. We got hassle from the African American kids. And what happened? We were pressured to speak African American, uh, so called American, the Queen's English. And as things transformed, when the Jamaican bad boys started coming in the 80s and dealing with the drugs and the gangsterism, they put fear into the African-American heart. And as a result, and with the Rastafarian movement, the love of blackness and stuff, as a result, it took African-American took a second look at the Caribbean people and started respecting the way they spoke. They started respecting how Jamaicans spoke. They fell in love with Shaba Ranks and stuff, just like... Whites American were listening to Bob Marley way before African American. Uh, and if you look at a lot of these top rappers, they, they got Caribbean roots like TRS1, Special Ed, uh, 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 you name it, Diggy Small. And they were forced to, to assimilate to the African American culture. So the moral of the story is not so much African American fault is what the white man did to our mind and make us feel whatever whatever is considered black is considered in, in, inferior, is considered let down. Now to jump to what Fred Point was saying, I took a class in black psychology and you know how some of us blacks be where she be at, where he be at. In the Western Africans where the slave can be is used as a verb. So it's in our culture identity to to naturally speak different. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of times what, what we call speaking ghetto is not really ghetto. It's from our African roots. And to jump to another point real quick, uh, when I was doing track and field when we were young, uh, everybody said the reason why black people can't run distance because they were lazy. And that made people felt inferior. I always try to prove people wrong. I went out and I couldn't run distance no matter what. But the reason why blacks in America are not good at running distance because we came from West Africa. West Africa in order to have what you call fast twist muscles, which is good for speed but not for distance. Now the best runners, long distance runners in the world is from Kenya and Ethiopia from East Africa. Another point is they used to say black people can't swim too good because they, they're too poor to afford a pool in the backyard. And that's not true. The reason why a lot of blacks don't make good swimmer is because our bone our bone is denser. We have more muscle to body fat compared to European who has more body fat ratio because they're from a cold climate. Body fat keeps you keeps you all warm and whites naturally have light a lighter bone, which is good for buoyancy for swimming. So the whole moral of the story, we feel in, we feel inferior, whatever you might call it, covering up, is because what the white man did to our head. So the more, so the story is real quick. Is uh, the son asked the father, he said, Dad, how come when man and the lion fight in the jungle, the lion always lose? He said, Well, until the day that lion learned to read and write book, the lion will always lose. Right. You know, so okay. 
So have a good day. Nice talking to you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> and, and Joseph just dropped a lot on us. But I like what he said because um, part of the reasons I blog, I give the African proverb, and it, it always talks about why does the hunter always have the better part of the story? The lion will get the better part of the story when he gets the storyteller. And so that's uh, one of the proverbs that we use at Dryer Buzz is why we blog because we want to be the storyteller for the lion the conversation continues Erico 404 892 where brother moody george and michelle are holding we're talking about covering we're talking about disfavored identities uh are they society force are, are people police back into what is it back into the norm uh, what are you doing to cover people know that you're covering they know that you're covering but covering with covering we're holding ourselves back hashtag Draw your buzz on WOK. During this break, I'm going to jump over to Twitter and Facebook and we'll tweet you and talk. We're going to continue this conversation before we run home and watch the BET Awards. You're listening to where news and talks meets buzz. 1380 WAOK. Call us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380 WAOK.